A senior officer in the Pakistani army has been detained for suspected ties to a banned religious organization. The army confirms that it's holding Brigadier Ali Khan. Al Jazeera has learned that Khan was picked up a month ago and is suspected of plotting to attack a military target. Let's get more on this uh, from Imtiaz Gul, who's a political and security analyst uh, in Islamabad. It's quite uh, uh, intriguing, uh, this uh, Imtiaz. Brigadier Khan detained for suspected links to Hizbut Tahrir specifically, um, which has officially at least rejected violence. It's not a, a, a banned organization in, in the US. Why then is it a, quote, proscribed militant organization, to use the words of uh, a Pakistan army spokesman? Well, I think um, the, the diction or the narrative that Hezbul Tahrir has used to promote its objectives, particularly in Pakistan, is not very different from what uh, Osama bin Laden or Al-Qaeda or uh, Dr. Emmanuel Zwahiri have been telling us. In fact, this uh, organization has taken a very, very strident position vis-a-vis -vis the Pakistan military and the Pakistan government, which it says uh, are traitors, which are uh, collaborating with the United States against the interests of the Muslims. And it, it has, in fact, taken a very, very offensive position, and that's why it was okay. banned. Right. I mean, it's, it's quite ironic. Yeah, yeah I, I just wanted to, 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 to get to, to the bottom of that. What do you think is, is actually going on here, then? How would you answer the accusation that Brigadier Khan's detention is, is merely a sop to the United States, to make it look as though uh, Pakistan is pursuing allegations that senior military officials have links to militants? Well, I, I don't think it comes uh, as a surprise to anybody. There are a number of uh, officers in the military, there are a number of bureaucrats, even well-placed senior positions, and also people within the judiciary uh, who are sympathetic or empathetic towards the cause of uh, Hezbul Tahrir, which uh, meanwhile is a transnationalist organization as much as Al-Qaeda is. They are joined by a common narrative that is anti-US, anti-America, uh, anti, anti-Europe, basically. Uh, so I don't think it's, it, it has come as a surprise. We have to look at the roots, at the causes, why uh, the military of Pakistan or certain officers within the Pakistan military have gone this way. This goes back to the Afghan Jihad against the uh, Soviet Union, during which I think Pakistan army was very much directly involved with the funding of the United States against the Soviet Union. So I think a number of people simply went the way of the Taliban, they adopted the way of Al-Qaeda, and some have, have grown uh, sympathies for organizations such as Hezbul Tahrir, which addresses the educated, informed uh, elements uh, within the Muslim society. Imtiaz, many thanks indeed for, for being with us. Imtiaz Gul there, uh, live from Islamabad.